Uh, okay, so I've made a new release that um, should allow um, users that um, either don't have a microphone or have a Windows version that the Microsoft Speech Engine doesn't work with. Um, so this uh, version allows you to control the checklists with the keyboard. Um, it may be a bit clunky at first, um, but I'm open to suggestions on how it can be improved. So let's get started. So this is uh, a typical extract of the current version. So we'll just run it up, and we'll uh, do a setup. So this is what you'd see normally. I think for um, the problem that people with Windows versions that the speech engine doesn't recognize. I think as soon as I hit this listen um, option here they get an error saying the speech engine can't be initialized. Um, so let's try and address that. So first things first uh, you'll see two new options in here the um, progress checklist keybind and the show checklist keybind. Um, we're, we'll set those now. Um, bear in mind that these are um, global key hooks. So, if you're going to set them to something, make sure that they don't clash with um, anything in FSX or um, if you're on something like VATSIM that has push to talk um, keybinds, make sure it doesn't conflict with those as well. Otherwise, they'll just fire at the same time. Um, so for this one I'm just going to set this to uh, my left control key and I'm going to set this one to my left shift key. Um, what I'm also going to do is there's a new option here to disable the speech recognition engine. I'm going to uh, tick that. That should hopefully resolve some issues for people. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those restart the application and let's go and just make sure they're all okay yep so left control key left shift key oh, you'll notice that the debug tab has disappeared in here um, it's not relevant now the speech engine has been disabled and you can't set the language culture or the uh, voice audio confidence threshold so let's close that. Um, one thing you will notice as well, the listen menu that was up here has now gone and this show checklists item is now permanently enabled. Now we, we did set a keybind to this show checklists. Uh, we set it here and it's the left shift key. So you can, without uh, a voice, you would normally say at this point um, show checklists and it would bring up the show checklists dialog um, you'd read which one you wanted then you'd say um, cabin checklist and it would start the cabin checklist for you um, but in this particular case we're going to hit the uh, left shift key um, it will still dismiss after a little time as well um, I haven't changed that yet I don't know whether I will. So let's just hit the shift key. Shift key. We're going to go for the cabin checklist. Pito tube cover removed. So then that will now start the checklist. Um, the uh, to progress the checklist now you use your progress checklist keybind, which we set to the left control key. So I'm going to press that. Pilots operating handbook in airplane. And I just keep airplane pressing it. Balance checked. Whenever I'm doing this within flight Parking simulator, where on. I'd normally say checked set or whatever, I did contemplate having separate keybinds for all the different commands but it seemed a little um, overkill given that the intention is just to progress the checklist um, so really um, the, the point of multiple voice commands um, is to uh, give you something to say that is obvious, an obvious response to a checklist item um, but in this particular case, we're just going to press the uh, the keybind, which is the control key. Control wheel lock removed. 
Ignition switch and set off. We'll just go all the way through these. Switch set off. Master switch set on. Um, a a a a fuel we can hit control both. quite a few times. You need to the keybind. Um, it's worth pointing out as well that you can still use a keybind and um, use a speech engine. They will work together. Fuel shut off valve pushed in. Flaps pitot heat set on. Pito heat um, working. If you're feeling that way inclined. Pito heat set off. Master switch set off. Elevator trim set to take off. Checklist complete. So there we go. So um, you can dismiss this dialogue up here now. I mean, usually with the voice commands acted, uh, activated, you'd say um, close checklists, but we can click on it now and it'll just disappear. Um, if you want to then go on to the before starting engine checklist, hit the um, show checklist keybind, which is the shift key. Choose before starting engine. Inspection complete. And once again, it's starting the new checklist. Passenger so we use the control key seat to seat brakes tested progress and through it. So at any point during the checklist, if you want to cancel it, just click on the dialog up there and it stops. Um, so that's it. Um, I'm going to, um, the next thing I'm going to do and hopefully release over the next few days is uh, someone's requested that uh, they want the ability to direct the audio to a different device. Um, for that I'm going to have to change the way the code works because the default WAVE player in the .NET framework isn't sufficient so I'm going to have to use a third party library to do this. Um, it might take me a little while to sort out. It shouldn't take too long. Um, like I say, in the next couple of days I should have another release so it should be up to 0.3. Uh, now I'm going to zip this up, stick it on Google code and hopefully someone will find it useful. Cheers.